In this video, we'll show you how to present your schedule using Ganto. I like to start by turning on the current date indicator so my changes are with respect to where we are today. Then you can go ahead and make changes to your project model, you know, right from the Gantt sheet. So in this case, I'm extending the length of task B and I'm shortening the length of new task, which I realize should actually be named task C. And I'm assigning myself as a resource and I'm doing that all directly from the Gantt chart. Uh, now I'll go ahead and update the percent complete for each of the tasks to let people know how things are going. Now I'm looking at the display. So I prefer to show my display uh, with just the task names right on the Gantt sheet. And I know uh, with my projector, uh, I need to display something at a font size of at least 16 to 18 point if people at the back of the room are gonna be able to see it okay. So I'll just adjust that now. And there you have it. Now for a more complex schedule, uh, let's take a look at one here. Uh, I prefer to actually just present or do a status update based on the roll up of the schedule. So if we go to the task menu and select task all, we can roll up the schedule. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fit the schedule to the visible screen real estate. And once again, I'm gonna display the names of the tasks right on the Gantt sheet using the full view here. Now toggle the current data indicator and go ahead and boost my font size. And now I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the percent completes. Now one neat thing about these rollups here is that we're automatically pulling the milestones out of each of the summaries and displaying them along the top there. So you can see that first milestone is under this first summary and this next milestone is under the, the summary that's currently underway. And so this is a great uh, conversation point so that each of these major milestones can be brought up as a point of discussion during the update. And that's how I do status updates uh, using Ganto. Thanks for watching.